One of the things that stands out in my memory about singing in the choir with Dave Greenoggle is that he was very passionate about including students from all disciplines and interests. He didn't want to have a choir of music majors. He wanted to have a choir of people who had interests that covered everything, the whole range of, of um, interests. I remember one time we were singing in the Brock Center and one of the sopranos had to play either softball or lacrosse and she had a game that day and she couldn't be there on time. So she just came running in as soon as she could and between songs she stepped up onto the platform and Dave was just thrilled. She was still in her uniform and he just loved the commitment that it demonstrated to people coming together from all different areas of life and creating something special. I sang in choir the whole time I was at Randolph-Macon and from there I went on, I, I decided to major in music and I've gone on to be a choir director and organist at an Episcopal church now and I've loved every minute of it. He loved working with untrained voices and people who came from all areas of life and helping, helping us to come together and create something that was better than any of us could have done individually. When I first came to campus to interview for the position that, that they had the six students that were the choir at that point take me out to dinner was, was one of the things that showed me the value that they place on the students here. And that was one of the things that really piqued my interest. And then in having dinner with those students, just how fired up they were about having a choir here, getting music on campus again, that, uh, that that's, that's what sold me. I thought if we've, if we've got six people that are this fired up about it, we can do this. I know another one that was, that was a real highlight was the, uh, the end of the, the first year. We were able to get the choir to the National Cathedral in D.C. So between those first two semesters to, to get a critical mass of, of folks that were really interested and wanted to make this thing work, to let them have the experience of singing that kind of literature in the cathedral, that was, that was amazing. That was, that was really cool. A message for my former students. First off, thanks again. This was, it was an amazing thing to be a part of. And it happened because you were the ones that wanted to make it happen. We talked about it then, and I'll just reinforce it now. What you were doing, what you did was incredibly special. It was a point in time in the universe when things came together, and it, it felt it felt magical because it was. And now that it's been these years later, as you remember it, please remember what you felt, what you remember was real. It was special, it was magical. And it was just one of the most absolute privileges of my life to work with you.